What's up guys? Today we're going to take a look at how you can clean up your messy nested replace functions. How many times have you nested some kind of SQL string function like replace and ended up with code that looks like this? Even worse would be if I didn't clean up these nested replaces and just let them wrap around. Ugh, that's ugly and difficult to read, right? Today's tip, instead of nesting functions like this, you can use cross apply instead. Technically, the cross apply version of this has more characters, but it's way easier to read. Believe me, your future self will thank you when you need to come back to this query down the road and figure out what you were doing with all these replaces. In terms of performance, SQL Server doesn't really care which of these two solutions you use. Both are just a set of scalar functions that SQL is going to have to run for every single row anyway. So the execution plans for both are identical. And that's a wrap. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Leave some comments and I'll see you next week. Hey, what? What's, what's going on? What is this?